Hey y'all, Barley here, and we're ready to complete the last two legs of the trip and return home to Grand Cayman. Before we kick off pre-flight, if this kind of video interests you, let me know by hitting the like button. If it doesn't, leave a comment so I can improve my content. Of course, you can tell me which things you like in the comments also. If you get through the video and realize you can't live without content like this, please subscribe and tickle the bell to get notified. It really likes that. Alright, uh, so maintenance looked over the plane. That's why we're leaving about half hour later than I wanted to. Uh, after we had our hydraulics failure on landing here. They didn't find anything wrong. So we might be in for some fun on one or both of the two landings we have ahead of us. Uh, you know whose channel you're on, don't you? Uh we, uh, we are ready to get home, so let's kick this pig. Uh, let's see, our loadout uh, looks like we're pretty well mid-CG. Just a little tiny, tiny bit aft, but that's that's pretty good loading. And we're well below maximum takeoff weight, so nothing concerning there. Uh, everybody is loaded, so we'll have the tail prop brought inside. Close all of our outside doors. They can pull the wheel chocks. And then as soon as they put the tail prop inside, they can shut the main door. That secures the aircraft. And uh, with that, Mary, start the before start checklist. Starting the before start checklist. Parking brake. Set. Three gear pins. Onboard and stowed. Circuit breakers. In. Battery switch. Off. Engine control knob. Off. Exterior lights. Off. Ice protection. Off. Landing gear lever. Down. Power management knob. Take off. Gust lock. On. Power levers. Idle. Condition levers. Shut off. Trim switches. Center. Tail prop. Removed and on board. Exterior doors. Closed. Pre flight checks complete. I'll get our clearance. Great. I'll start the overhead workflow. Clearance delivery, Barley 01 IFR to Cozumel, ready to copy. Barley 01 is cleared to Cozumel Airport, is filed. Take off runway 12 right climb and maintain 7,000 feet. 7,000. Departure frequency is 124 decimal 2 squawk 5, 256. Barley 01 cleared to Cozumel Airport, is filed. Take off runway 12 right climb and maintain 7,000 feet. Departure on 124.2 squawk 5, 256. Barley 01, read back correct. Contact ground on 130.5. Good day. And no white, we're good. Now it's time for the whoop, FMS. She's already got the app plugged in. We'll turn that on. Radar lock. Initialize this. Guy, position, Good. turn. Now we need to do our flight plan, and we are going from M M U N. You know, I did forget something. Forget it almost every time, but we do want traffic. It's not just multiplayer. We want lots of traffic. I got that over here. There we go. Uh, MMUN to MM. -E Z. <laughs> Execute. All right. Uh, flight plan. QN3A to Vibla. Easy. RNAV. Huh, I didn't tell it that's what I wanted, where it got that from. I would I be able to change it if I wanted to? No, it doesn't know any other things. Okay, well. Hmm. Okay. Well, the flight plan's whole, so we'll just go with that. Don't know where it got that, but he said 7,000 for our transition. Performance initialization, um, 
His altitude is 8,000. This is a very, very short flight. In fact, uh, probably if we get to our cruise altitude, it'll be a miracle. If we are, it won't be for very long. Uh, this airport is our backup. 7,000. Zero fuel weight. My route sheet. Uh, forty-three, four, four, zero, three, five, seven. And fuel on board. Says ten seventy. This is not that. Uh, twenty-one forty. No, one point one up. I've been finding to add one tenth really is feels about right for the rotation to me anyway. It's within the range, so it's fine. Uh, CG is good. Performance, so 106. Okay, that's good. One ten. Uh, average wind 341.08. Two nine or nine or six. I think that's everything. There's our takeoff sheet. That's all done. All right. Uh, we already put that in. Uh, it's an R nav approach, so we don't really need to mess with the VORs. That's nav. That's that. Okay. Runway heading. One, two, five. And it's almost there. It's at 126. There's 125. And for our altitude, we want 7,000 initially. And there's 7,000. That's set. Uh, heading with nav armed. IAS with alt select. This to auto. There we go. Yeah, that's everything here. You can quit flashing at me. All right. Now, you notice that the uh, cabin is very bright. Um, not because I have any lights on in here. Because I'm, now that everybody's sitting, we can get rid of that. <laughs> it's from the cabin. Like if you've seen the past videos, that's a well-known bug. The other bug that's really painful, and it causes problems for me flying at night, is that the uh, taxi landing lights? When you pull the when the wheels are up in the wells, the wheels are up. Uh, it floods the cockpit with very bright light, so I have to turn them off. And I don't want to turn them on when I normally would for landing. And sometimes that means I forget. So landing at night is can be problematic. You, you know, it's just right after you put the wheel down. That's when you got to put to the landing lights. Uh, hopefully they fix that soon because that is ugly. Anyway. Uh, let's, uh, let's finish the checklist. Hello. Let's finish the checklist. Engine one fire protection test. Complete. MFC fall Check. clear. TLU. Auto. Landing gear in. Three greens. Exterior door indicators. Out. Off. Fuel system test. Complete. Fuel pump. On. Begin. On. Prop brake. Ready. DC generators. Set. Hydraulics. On. AC wild generators. Set. Ice protection. Off. No devices and fasten seat belt signs. On. Emergency lights. Armed. Enunciator test. Complete. Lead air. On. O2 supply. Off. O2 pressure. Good. Compartment smoke test. Complete. Engine 2 fire protection test. Complete. Anti-skid fault light. Mm. Out. Stick pusher fault light. Out. Radar. Standby. FMS initialized. Check. Nav radios. Check. Departure heading and altitude. Check. Autopilot modes. Set. Speed target. Auto. Before start checks complete. Ready to start engines. Ready. Exterior door indicators. Off. Wheel chocks. Off. 
CDLS. Locked. Heck fault light. Out. EEC fault light. Out. Begin left engine start. You on? Will be monitored Oil pressure until you rising. Land and shut down the engines. Check. Engine one starter. Off. ITT oil pressure and temps. Check. Engine start control. Off. External power off. Check. Generator one. On. GPU disconnected. Check. Start number two. Fuel on. Oil pressure rising. Check. Engine 2 starter. Off. Generator 2. Off. On. Engine start control. Check. ITT oil pressure and temps. Check. Condition levers. Auto. Startup checks complete. Ready start pushback checklist. Begin. Nose wheel steering. Off. TRU. On. Ready to push back. Request pushback. Requesting pushback. Move this guy along so do a little bit of warping. This takes him to a while. And I don't have a while. Alright. Continue. Continue. Come door closed. Check. Prop brake. Off. Pito heat. Off. Position. Taxi. And strobe lights. On. Anti skid test. Check. Transponder set and on. Check. Pushback checks complete. Should I start the before taxi list? No, nah, we're still waiting on my dude here to get his pushback. Which I will hurry even further. Round American 1503 request taxi to parking. American 1503 taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway Alpha 2 Delta Bravo Bravo for Charlie Bravo 8. Taxiing to general aviation parking using taxi. Of course, warping does speed everything else up too. <laughs> but this pushback would take a year and a half. Straight pushback. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, we're definitely getting out of here about half an hour after I was hoping to, but we had to have maintenance go through the plane. Don't want hydraulic failure on landing again. Push back left. Requesting left pushback. Yeah. Expecting 12 right. 7,000. Should you care of it a little bit? Stop pushback. Stopping push Ground back. Barley 01 with India ready to taxi IFR. Barley 01 taxi 2 and hold short of runway 12 right via taxiway Bravo 12 Charlie Charlie Niner. Contact tower on 11 okay. when ready. Charlie's right over there. We taxi take a right. Hold short runway 12 right using taxiway Bravo 12 Charlie Charlie Niner Barley 01. 
Neither. Begin. Nose wheel steering. On. MFD to navigation mode. Check. Checklist complete. All right. Whoa. There's speedy. Starting before takeoff checklist. Okay. Brakes. Check. Cabin is set for your takeoff. Check. Rudder indicator. Set. Center. Gust lock. Off. Flight controls. Free and correct. Flaps. 15. Takeoff configuration test. Check. At the correct runway. That is the plan. Ooh, little sliver of a moon. Not that that's going to give us much light, but... Mm, dark runways. We're light. This is a pretty decent length runway. It's like 11,000 feet. But we will leave the bleed air on. Hot tonight, is it? Well, it ain't cool. So, yeah, we'll let the passengers enjoy the AC during takeoff. Rosamel, we may we'll have to see what the loadout looks like when we get there. That uh, runway, uh, if we're taking off 12, slopes up by f five feet over 8,000. Uh, and if we're this warm, if we're at 30 Celsius still. I'll probably drop the bleed air during takeoff. For a little extra something something. So 211 Zulu uh, local time, I think that puts us at 2. Nine? Am I right on that? I know how to find out. Eight. Eight. Eight o'clock. We started at 6.30 this morning on this trip. Oh, okay. Yes, I know. Thank you. As soon as we get there, I have to see the sign and be able to read it to tell you if we're at the right runway. Yeah, we're looking for 12 right. That says 12 right. Check. Takeoff clearance. Uh, that's normally your job, but at this airport, you don't like to go get it, so I have to do it for you. So, uh, tune tower, and then request takeoff clearance. Can tune tower Barley zero one at runway one two right, ready for departure IFR to Cozumel. Barley zero one, altimeter two niner, decimal niner six, one zero niner two, F four. Niner niner six, good. Cleared for takeoff runway one two right. Cleared for takeoff runway one two right, Barley zero one. Check. Lead valves. On. Checklist complete. Starting takeoff checklist. Landing lights. On. Runway is clear. I'll tell you in a second. Check. Checklist complete. We are taking off. 
Take off power set. Check. Airspeed alive. Check. Seventy knots cross check. Check. B1, rotate. Starting climb checklist. Positive rate. Here Gear up. Trim for B2 plus 5. Check. Yaw damper. There are those lights. On. Lead valves. On. Pito heat. Ollie zero 01, contact. Can Acceleration off. altitude. Speed 110. Check. Checklist complete. 124 decimal 2 barley 01 Cancun departure barley 01 is passing 700 feet climbing 7000 feet Barley 01 Cancun departure altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 6 continue as planned Barley 01 setting flaps 0 not above 200 knots Keep speed not above 200 to knots barley 01 Setting autopilot. All right, autopilot has the bird, and bird is the word. And monitor, and then set up for arrival on the other side. If you hadn't seen it before, now you've seen how bad the taxi landing light um, flooding the cockpit is when you bring the wheels up. And you'll see... Normally... Well, we'll see. I just have to remember, I'm going to try to get the gear down a little earlier than I normally would, maybe. So I can remember to turn the lights on. Because we normally turn the lights on when we start the approach and we aren't ready for gear down yet. But then it'll blind me. So I'll turn them off and then I'll forget. That's an I may need to add that to a second part of the checklist somewhere. You can see how bright the cockpit is even with nothing on. I mean, some of it's this thing. What is our approach speed? 104. Let's put this on. Traffic down here to our left. Climb performance is good. We're light, so that's expected. Crosswind there wasn't too bad. I had to have I had a little bit of left yoke in for the takeoff, and this plane is extremely sensitive to uh, crosswinds, especially on landing. You have got to land both wheels at the same time, or you end up with um, directional instability. I believe is the word, <laughs> and the wheels are so close together. So like in the King Air, I mean, you can do a crosswind landing one of two ways. You can either touch down, you know, keep the wing low on the windward side and touch down with one wheel 
and then bring it down, or you can crab into the wind and do it that way. Uh, this plane, oh, you have one choice. It's you, both wheels have to touch at the same time, so you you crab down, or you can even you know, wing down if you want to. Uh, but it's, when you get to the runway, you'd better have the wheels, the, the wings level, uh, and be where you want to be on the runway. Okay, well, we're actually going to make it to our cruise altitude. Oh, we're light, so yeah, that makes sense. All right, so we brief dust approaching. Barley zero one climb and maintain eight thousand feet. Okay, sure. Not sure why you need me to do that, but climb and maintain eight thousand feet, Barley zero one. We can do that. All right, so we're going up to our cruise altitude. While that happens, uh, minimums are 500 for this approach. So. There. Five fifty, no flashing, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. That's set. All right, so we're going into there's the approach, all right there for you. Vibla's our initial approach fix. I'm gonna call this cruise initial approach fix, and we're gonna start uh, configuring at Vibla. So that by CZ519, we are configured, and we drop down to 1600. Uh, there it is. It's hard just as fast. Descend and maintain 4,000 feet, Barley 01. All right, 4,000 feet. Going vertical speed, 1500. Need to watch our speed. That's about right. Apparently, vertical speed is the preferred descent profile for uh, ATR, so I'm not using IAS on the way down. Preparing for arrival and landing. Start the descent checklist. Starting the descent checklist. No devices and fasten seal belt signs. And altitude. Expect on F runway. One two approach via Vibla transition. Check. Clear I have advised Vibla. the cabin crew that we are about to descend. Check. Review landing Maintain elevation. Maintain heading and altitude. Check. Expect on F runway. Repeat approach. One two approach via Vibla transition. Clear to Vibla Barley zero one. Repeat. Brief the approach. Hmm. Nah, I was doing that. Contact Cancun. Uh, minimums five hundred. We've set five fifty. Good day. Ah. Uh, See, go around is uh, fly straight ahead, climb to 4,000, uh, go to waypoint Durga and hold. Up on Vibla, so slow it down just a bit, shall we? Okay, 
time to configure. Going back to flight idle. Beechcraft Bravo Zulu Echo, you are five miles west of Cancun. Uh, repeat. Repeat approach. Check. Minimum. Check. Pito heat. Off. Power management not. Take off. Checklist complete. Setting flaps 15. Check. Polaris 210 Cancun approach altimeter 29 decimal minor tree. Continue to Charlie Uniform November as planned. Tower on 118 decimal 6 Beechcraft Bravo Zulu Echo. Start the approach checklist. Starting the approach Charlie checklist. One, you are one Landing one on taxi one lights. Of Cozumel. Contact Cozumel Tower on 118.0 when inbound on the approach. Tower on 118.0 Barley 01. Cozumel Tower Barley 0111 one miles northwest inbound Arnav Runway 12 approach. Barley 01 Cozumel Tower. Speed 160. Landing gear. Down. Cleared Arnav Runway 12 approach. I remember the light this time. Cleared Arnav right. Runway 12 approach. Barley Setting 01. Setting flaps 30. Three greens and flaps full. Thank you. Check. Cabin pressure. Check. Fuel balance. Check. The cabin is configured for landing. Check. Checklist complete. All right, let's get down to sixteen hundred. Sixteen hundred by Calho. Which won't be a problem. All right, three greens, flaps full, lights are on, cabin is ready. We're you're landing. Okay, where's the autopilot going? No, no, no. Uh, I don't know where it thought it was heading, but that's not where we wanted to go. Oh, it missed the last... Look, it missed the last... Uh, it didn't check there. Okay. Uh, what's going on there? So, let's... Uh, heading bug. Off nav. Heading. Hold that for a second while I figure out what the heck happened here. Let's just do direct to the runway. And we'll put nav back on. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I'm going to probably just turn it off. Yeah, speed. I got it. Your friend, the uh, autopilot. And yeah, it's not going to put us right onto the runway because we're... I'm just going to take over. Sorry. I have no idea what happened with that approach, why it just started ignoring its own speed. Send faster. There's a better lineup. I have no idea what that was. I'll have to look, go back and look at the video and find out why it didn't catch that waypoint. It's not a big deal. We can fly a plane. Uh oh. Okay. Wind is definitely from the left. Good, a crosswind landing, just what you wanted. 
Not what I wanted. One red. We're going to descend a little more. It looks like one red. Man, we are definitely getting pushed to the le to the right. Let's go to let's aim for the left side of the runway, shall we? Speed is fine. We're at 108, which is where we want to be. We're a little high. Wing zero five zero at five knots. Yeah. That's almost a complete 90 degree crosswind. Approaching minimum. Yeah, that's not. Whoa. Okay, then the wind disappeared. Oh, and there's an, an airplane just appeared on the runway. That's not good. Oh, he's he's taking off, so I guess we're good. Uh, a little low. A more power. A bit gusty. Right on glide path. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Flap zero. Flap zero. There you going. There we go. Forty knots. Reversers out. All right. Since I find the next taxiway, I will. Yeah, boy. When I touched down, I, it, it wanted to go off the left side of the runway in our hurry. Oh, weather bad. Weather vaning. Uh, is there another taxiway, or do I get to turn around? I don't see any blue lights. I don't see any yellow lines. No, that was the last taxiway. I missed it. All right. Yeah, I gotta turn around. Well, that'll be fun on takeoff. That's a direct crosswind component of nine knots, and these things, I tell you, it's very sensitive to it. Yeah, I'm working on it. Okay, repeat. Repeat. Checklist complete. Oh, that's good. Guess we did all the stuff on the landing one. Oh, and if I if you didn't notice, I have figured out the trick to the reversers. I will explain during the turnaround. There's a yellow line and some blue lights. All the things we were looking for. Barley zero one exit runway one eight. Starting after landing checklist. Flap Barley zero. zero one contact ground. On Check. Trims zero. reset. Well. Going to one one eight decimal zero. Barley zero one. Uh, we need a taxi to the gates. Cozumel ground, Barley yeah. zero 01 request taxi to the gate. Barley zero 01 taxi to gate 1 via taxiway echo. Gate 1, alright. Taxiing to gate 1 using taxiway echo, Barley zero 01. Check. Dust lock. On. Landing and strobe lights. Off. Start engine timer. Check. Radar. Such a hard button to hit. 
Off. Transponder. Not much easier. And gate one. Well, I see one A and one. It's this way. Okay. Oh, they're turning on the lights for us. That's nice. And I see somebody standing there in a yellow jacket. This is gate one. Oh, this was an easy parking. Okay, well, we're gonna feather the left engine. He could be lit up better, couldn't he? I can't. And he's not putting his arms up. I guess he just wants me to park it on my own. Okay. Shutting down one. He's not gonna do anything. And let's see. ATR right about there. Okay. Uh, parking brake. Feather two. More lights go off. Mm, parking brake is on. Don't have to worry about that. Let's get some lights for everybody. Cabin lights. There we go. Uh, let's get the tail prop out. That has to open the main door. Uh, we can open the cargo door to the side since that engine's off. Heat uh, heat. Off. Taxi clearance. Yep, yeah, check. TRU. Well, that's a good point. Oh, it's uh, it's off, but not because I turned it off. It's because the wilds are down. Okay. Check. Ice protection. Off. Checklist complete. All right. Cool. Uh, let's go. Uh, now we can. Oh, uh, yep. GPU connected. Generator's off. Okay. Shut down two. Engine off time logged. The flight is finished. It has been monitored by on air. Start the parking checklist. Starting parking checklist. Parking brake. Set. Taxi lights. Off. Condition levers to feather. Check. Engine timer above one minute. Check. Engine one condition lever to shut off. Check. Confirm engine one shut down. Check. Prop brake. Uh, off. Off. Ground power. On. Condition lever for engine two. Shut off. Off. Position lights. Off. Confirm both engines NP at zero. Check. Wheel chocks in position. Check. Passenger door open. Check. Tail prop in position. Check. Emergency lighting disarmed. Check. No device and seat belt signs. Off. Cargo and service doors open. Check. Parking checks complete ready to start cold and dark list. Yeah, well, we're not going cold and dark. We're doing a turnaround, so skip that checklist. We are all set to turn this puppy around. All right, so we need to go to the operation center and get our next set of paperwork and loadouts and all that goody, goody, good nuts. Of course, when we come back in, it'll be cold and dark. I tried leaving it this way, and then, you know, I did some testing, and then, like, loading the flight plan through Navigraph. ATC's fine, but the flight assistant doesn't work anymore, so... We do have to actually go out to the main menu and come back, and that means that we'll have to reset the plane. Uh, it won't just stay like this. I wish it would, but it won't. So, out to the main menu we go. And I'll just bring it back in. Leave it there. Uh, current time. Uh, 2.34 Zulu. Write that down for our turnaround. And we're just going... We'll go right back in. Uh, we already have... Uh, let me see, that's one. We're at gate one. Parking checks complete, ready to start cold and dark list. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, that's not gonna happen. Okay. So you it. You figured it out. I don't need these charts. Unload that. So, uh, I did choose gate one, right? Gate one. Uh, into here. They can give us whatever they want. Just leave it. 
Mm, I don't know. Do I trust ATC? Uh, what's the wind here? I know we're going to be running 12. I've never landed anything but 12 here before. Hello? O2 supply. No. Stop listening. Stopping responding to voice commands. So it's going to be 1 2. I don't know if I trust. Or 0 08, sorry. The other twos are 1 twos. Uh, Arnav. Sure. I'm guessing. We'll go with that. Okay, that'll load the plane back in. And we'll do weight and balance. Uh, I need to get my route sheet. Um, Light service center. All my info's on it. Uh, we need to go to on air. See what it thought of my landing. Smooth. Tried to go off the left side of the runway, but it was smooth. Okay. Pick up our next work order. We'll see how smoothly this goes. I haven't done multiple legs this way before. Uh, we need um, work order, so I have to activate the other one, right? And assign us. Me, Mary, and Isabel is in the back, I think. Uh-oh. Oh, that's the King Air. Oh, I forgot to tell don't fill up. I, I tankered enough fuel. I'll fix that later. That is a minor thing. Uh, the Cessna... Well, it's waiting on the King Air for lumber. That's all for the factories. Get to that. Eat it. That is the... That is the... Laying that. We just need to sign... Me. And Mary. And then we need Isabel. Go. That's good to go. Make sure all my numbers match. Payload. Zero, zero fuel weight's definitely wrong. Okay, we are done with you. Zero fuel weight. I always get it off the other page. Where is it on this one? Man, law. I guess I need to learn to get it from here somehow, because, uh... See, it's really easy to find here. Right there, that's where I always get it. 36... Ah, uh, that's not... 6137. Fuel 3849, check, okay. Now, where is that on here? Like I said, there it is. 36137. Okay, yeah, I'm just not used to looking for it here. Everything else you can get off here easily. Checking that everything is... Correct on my route sheet. That is all correct. Cause that's where I load from. Uh, and here, because we haven't started the on-air tracking yet, um, it's got the wrong time. Let's go. Get that done. Uh, let's make sure fuel f is correct. Uh, fuel weight 3849. Check. That's all good. We have the right people. We have the right fuel. We have the load we expected. Activate. <coughs> okay. While well, you're gathering data. We will resolve this at cruise. Okay. Oh, it's waiting for the other order to finish. That's because, uh, remember, I used the warp at um, Cancun for the pushback. So it's still... Uh, and they're still unloading the plane. So we won't be able to do anything quite yet because that other work order is not active. Um, but here we are. Maybe it is. All the fun of putting all this, all these tools together for immersion, reality. Okay, yeah, uh, a destination. Uh, you should know. I'm WCR. I'm happy. That is the alternate. Uh, we're going to keep our uh, same. There's Isabel. Fuel is wrong. Didn't I give you a work order? Oh, they haven't loaded it yet. They're working on it. Here, let's put the plane 
into roughly the same uh, condition it was. Uh, okay, so we're below maximum. Oh, I haven't done the weight and balance yet. We can do that too, but let's get the aircraft. All the doors. Set up. Tried to do it where you don't go out to the main menu and it, the ATC assistant gets messed up. There. You can off. Everything else off. Lever shut off. Battery off. Nope. Cozumel Tower, Barley Zero. We're gonna get our clearance now. Copy IFR clearance to Owen Roberts. Let's do it now. Got it. Barley Zero One cleared to Owen Roberts Airport as filed. Take off runway one two climb and maintain five thousand feet. Departure on one two three decimal five squawk seven four six one. Barley zero one read back correct. Contact ground on one one eight decimal zero. Good day. <laughs> and point nine minutes, as long as it loads the right amount of fuel. It was in the work order correctly. Check all these things to make sure that the uh, loaders get it right. And we'll see how quickly we can get this turned around and get out of here, huh? You guys will have to let me know if you like me doing these kind of turnarounds. It wasn't for the fact that I'm trying to... I want this to feel like a crude experience, so I need the ATC assistant to do the radios. Then, uh... Okay, nine. I'm not gonna check her yet. The fuel is not correct. The cargo is not correct. Y'all didn't load anything. Okay. On air fun. Go check the work order, because y'all didn't do anything right. Company. Work orders. Didn't expect this not to work. Okay. That's, this is us. And I had... That's not even right. What the heck did it do? It's just decided not to put stuff on? Alright. This isn't how I wanted this to go, but hey! We're learning. Okay, so somehow... It came up with much different numbers. Than what I had. Yeah, and w which work order is that on? Tell me it's already assigned. That's a lot more than you were talking about, right? Passengers, eight. So we could have taken... I don't want more. What the heck? Did, why didn't you load more, then? Thirteen passengers. I expected eleven, so that number's different. Uh, we'll see if we can accept this load. And cargo, I expected 56.35. And you gave me 3,500, so we'll put that on there. Okay. Fuel, you were supposed to load. <coughs> For a fuel weight of 3,849. That is correct. Match that here to make sure. 3,849. Okay. Now uh, we'll activate it. And then they'll have to go reload. So we're going to be lighter than I expected. Okay. So let's go to... 
It may mean that I have to abort the loading and start it over again. I'm not sure. I have not messed with this kind of... Okay, so it's, it did. It's restarting the apron process. Okay, good. Wrong fuel, wrong cargo. Jeez. And I'm sure that stuff happens. Let's see if we corrected it, though. Or if we made the mess bigger. It's reloading, so we'll see what we get. If it goes by that, I'm fine with the fuel load. Cargo now is... The old number. Just kind of making it up as it goes along. Is it all going to the right place? That's going to be a different story. Uh, MWCR. 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 Okay, so it's all going to the right place. But that's a higher cargo load. So let's change that to... 5365. That's what I had before. The work order had a different number. Weird. Fuel is correct. Our payload. And we're definitely going to be light. 7205. That doesn't. 5365 plus 2000. Yeah. 7205. We'll put that in there. So we got to get loaded twice. But at least it's right, which is more important. Now this next flight to Grand Cayman. Home, finally. Well, on way too much coffee. Uh, it's in about an hour and a half. Once we take off, so, you know, 15 minutes on each side for taxi and such. Uh, I want to make sure this loadout goes right, so I'm afraid. I mean, otherwise, I would start some of the the before start stuff. About it, with the way that first loadout went, I don't want it to skip and then load me wrong, and then I have to somehow abort and start over. Nobody wants that. Thirty seconds won't kill us. We're now at what thirty-four to forty-seven, fifteen minutes on our turnover, so that's not bad. Anything under 30 is acceptable. Okay, so we're loaded. We want nine here. Get the right time. Uh, 38, 49, 50, 56, 11 passengers. Okay, so that all looks correct. Uh, Isabel can come with us. One less needed. Well, we'll take her anyway. What? I don't want to leave her here. Okay, fine, we'll put her in the back. She can... Because we only have 11 passengers. Um, we'll put... Or t we'll take her home. <laughs> she did the whole trip. She just doesn't have to work. Uh, okay, so that's good. Fly now. Now we just need to match that to our weight and balance in the aircraft. Because unfortunately, um, I'll show you why. Uh, on air normally can load the aircraft, but this is a new plane and it doesn't have the SimConnect APIs for weight and balance done. But you have to do it manually. All right, so fuel. We need 1924.5 per tank. Keep yourself. And then uh, we all... Well, actually, we don't have any flight attendants. She's just another... Oh, we have an extra passenger, though. That's what. We need to put that on there, manifest. The passengers. Very light load. The passengers. Cargo's hefty. Spread them about the cabin, and then cargo. Six. We'll do this. Really, we're we're spreading some of this cargo throughout the cabin or something. All right. Let's see how close we got to our payload numbers on air. 
Uh, I've got 8,042. We only needed 7,395. Looks like we missed by 620. So let's do... Guess I could have taken it out of the top ones, right? Yeah. 383. Now. <laughs> See these auto set disabled? That's because of the SIM connect thing not being set up. So, 7742. Okay, so we have to take even more. Three hundred and fifty. Did I just not capture that number? Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, I just didn't. I didn't see the change. So like forty-eight. Our co-pilot just lost some weight. Uh, not uh, but not that much weight. Math. Okay, those match. I just want them to match to be accurate. 48. Fuel is set for 251. That's correct. All right, start tracking. Minimize. We're back here. We're done with that. We're set to turn. We are loaded at 134. That was uh, almost 20 minutes. We now we have to do all the pre-flight stuff. Everything's loaded. All the passengers are on board. We can pull the tail prop up uh, and close those. Take the chocks off. Uh, door two. Okay. Uh, I guess we could have left them with a cabin light. Oh, that would have been nice. Uh, and we're going to need a little for us once we turn that out. All right. Uh, uh, battery's already on. Start the before start checklist. Oh, a start listening. Resuming responding to voice commands. Mm -hmm. Uh, what else didn't, haven't I done? I feel like I'm missing something. Out of my normal rhythm. Start the before start checklist. Start the before start checklist. Starting the before start checklist. Parking uh, brake. I can, uh, on. Three gear pins. On board and stowed. Circuit breakers. In. Battery switch. Well, check. Engine control knob. Off. Exterior lights. Off. Ice protection. Off. Landing gear lever. Down. Power management knob. Take off. Gust lock. On. Power levers. Idle. Condition levers. Shut off. Trim switches. There. Enter. Tail prop. Removed and on board. Exterior doors. Closed. Pre-flight checks complete. I'll All get right. our clearance. Yeah, you already did. Oh, now I just need to do the overhead stuff. Uh, easy way. Uh, fuel pumps and crossovers are good. Uh, beacon ready off. Files on. Off, off. Get down, quit playing with your toys. Uh, off, good. Done there. Sort the FMS. Uh, got it set. That on. Mm, let's do this while we're here before we forget. There we go. Initialize and take it from the GPS. And then our flight plan. Now we're going from Cozumel to here. Uh, check the flight plan. One fire protection test. We'll get to that in a minute. Patience. Next. Foreign 3 arrival through Mambi. Uh, RNAV 08. Okay, flight plan looks contiguous and good. 
performance. Ah, uh, go back and look all the way at 5,000. I even wrote that down. It's easier to look that at a busy airport. That would have been pushed up to the top. So that's why you write it down. Even in the simulator. Cruising altitude uh, 19,000, I believe. Yes. Alternate MWCB. But I did not write down. Altitude for 15,000. All right, wait, zero fuel weight. 36,137. Fuel on board. Uh, 1880. 3760. Nope. Yep, trim 1.0 up. An extra tenth for barley. There we go. All right. 104 is rotation speed. 10 for V2, so that's 115 for initial climb. Cosimo Tower, American 257611 miles northwest inbound visual runway 12 approach. American 2576 Cosimo Tower. Altimeter 29 decimal niner 41012 at 6. Runway, one to I think I forgot to put in my reserves on the fuel, didn't I? Cleared visual runway, one to approach American two five seven six. I did. Reserve is eight twenty-three. There we go. Did that change anything? And I won't. All that's in. Leave it on the takeoff page when we get there. 104. Okay. That's done. Uh, that's good. Uh, our torture out of here. Okay, that's good. All I need is airport information. All right. Uh, twelve. American two five seven six one zero one two at six. Clear to land runway one two. All right. Clear to land runway one two. American two five seven six. At five thousand for initial altitude. Heading uh, 118. Pilot modes for normal. That is all set. Set, set, set. Looking good. Okay. Let's finish the checklist. Hello. Let's finish the checklist. What did she last stop with? Repeat? Repeat? Engine one fire protection test. Okay. She's back. Complete. Kind of. Start listening. Uh, okay. Is, is a turnover going to mess with her now? Complete. MFC faults clear. Check. TLU. Auto. Landing gear indicator. Three greens. Exterior door indicator. Off. Fuel system test. Complete. Fuel pumps. On. Begin. On. Prop brake. Ready. DC generators. Set. 
Hydraulics. On. AC wild generators. Set. Ice protection. Off. No devices and fasten seat belt signs. On. Emergency lights. Armed. Enunciator test. Check. Bleed air. On. O2 supply. Off. O2 pressure. Good. Compartment smoke test. Complete. Engine 2 fire protection test. Uh, complete. Anti-skid fault light. Out. Stick pusher fault light. Out. Radar. Standby. FMS initialized. Check. Nav radios. On, uh, check. Departure heading and altitude. Check. Autopilot modes. Set. Speed target. Auto. Before start checks complete. American Ready to start engines. Ready. Exterior door indicators. Off. Wheel chocks. Off. CDLS. Chock locked. Lock. Peck fault light. Out. EEC fault light. Out. Begin left engine start. Last start of the trip. Fuel on. Cosmel ground pressure rising. Right. Engine one with whiskey ready to engines. taxi IFR. Check. Engine one starter. Off. ITT oil pressure and temps. Contact tower. Check. Engine start control. Off. Taxi two and hold short off. runway one two using taxiway echo cross runway Check. three zero alpha Generator barley one. zero one. On. GPU disconnected. Check. Start number two. Get our taxi clearance a little early. Fuel on. Oil pressure rising. Yeah, she's in a hurry. Check. Engine two starter. American two five seven six. Off. Generator two. On. Engine start control. Off. ITT oil pressure and temps. Taxi to gate two via taxi. Check. Condition levers. Two five seven six. Auto. Startup checks complete. Ready start pushback checklist. Okay. Begin. Nose wheel steering. Oh, I didn't turn those lights on, did I? Back in here somewhere. Uh, can't really see it. How far back? They're like right in here somewhere. Okay. Where there's light switches in here. Okay, well we'll have to wake the passengers up. We gotta find those. There they are. Okay, now can go back to sleep. I'll leave that on for now. But now I can actually see that yes, nose wheel steering is off. Or my flashlight off. Okay, check. T R U. On. Ready to push back. Yep. Request pushback. Requesting pushback. All right, we are pushing back at 304, so that was a 30 minute turnover. Right at it, even with a bad load and reload and all of those things. It's gonna be another slow pushback, isn't it? All right, continue. Com door closed. Check. Prop brake. Off. Pito heat. Off. Position, taxi, and strobe lights. On. Anti-skid test. Check. Transponder set and on. Pushback checks complete. Should I start the before taxi list? Oh no, he's just started pushing us back, so... Okay, we're gonna be going off to our right, so we'll push 
Well, eventually. I don't want to say those words. Anything? Anybody next to us? No. So we don't have to be really super careful with the pushback. But let's at least try to keep it straight. But with this voice assist tool that I'm using, I, I think I'm. Did I mention it before? I don't know. Um, oh, look, the fire department. Hopefully, we don't need them. Uh, on pushback, you can use the rudder pedals to control where he pushes you. Unfortunately, there's no dead zone in the center. So getting a straight pushback from him is not easy. It, it needs a slight dead zone. Or a setting or something. We'll relay that to the developer. I'm gonna spot the taxiway. No, since there's nobody next to us. Push back left. Push back left. Requesting left pushback. You can take care of that. Here's good to go. <sighs> Straighten up in my seat. Got work to do. Hope you guys are enjoying this. It's a little more work to do this with a true turnover, but it's interesting. And definitely combining with honor. Is it more work? Sure. But it gives a purpose to the flight. They're, you know, they're real order. Well, you know, air quotes, real orders with real passengers and real cargo, not just made up numbers. Stop pushback. Stopping pushback. Hmm. Those will steering is on. That looks good, so we'll go with that. Okay, begin. Begin. Nose wheel steering. On. MFD to navigation mode. Check. Checklist complete. Starting before takeoff checklist. Brakes. Check. Cabin is set for takeoff. Check. Rudder indicator. Center. Gust lock. Off. Flight controls. Free and correct. Flaps. EF. Oh, that's for him. Short 12E crossing 30A. Yep. So that's. Oh. Y E. What? Taxiway E cross 30. Wow, that's going to have me on the active for a while. Uh, why? Probably because Americans coming in. Okay. All right. So we're turning around. Oh, no, there's echo right there. Never mind. We're good. Okay, so. We need to watch for that American that's on the f on final. Because we got our taxi clearance before we were ready. Right, Mary? This doesn't... If, if we mosey along properly, we should be able to cross the runway before that American gets set up. Mosey faster, little bird. Uh, repeat. Flaps. Fifteen. Takeoff configuration test. Good idea. 
Check. At the correct runway. Hmm. Believe we are out of the way. Okay. Every light we own is on. And back off. Should be alpha all the way to the end. And that should put us on the runway we're given. Runway 12. Okay, make sure everything down here is set. That's correct. Here's great. No white up top. Oh, you know what I did forget to do is reset the uh, the overlay. We have a different uh, destination now <laughs> and origin. Uh, let me see if I can make that happen. There we go. Fixed. Takeoff configuration test. Check. At the correct runway. Yeah, I'm working on it. Okay. Now the overlay is correct. This one works. So, so far, this is the winner out of the four that I have tested. Okay, all the arrows say 12, so we're going the right way. And we've been to this airport before, earlier this morning. Remember, this day started at 6.30 a.m. our time. Grand Cayman time. We'll see what time we finish. I forget what, uh, I think it's minus 5 in Grand Cayman. That'd be like 11.30. A long day. 11.30 Zulu. We had a mechanical issue, kind of cost us some time. Had a long layover in one of the places. Uh, correct runway. Check. Check. Take off clearance. Cozumel Tower, Barley. Zero. You're working on it. For IFR departure runway. See, one she did it right here. Barley zero one altimeter two nine or decimal nine or two one zero three two at four. Nine or. Take off runway one two. Nine or. Cleared for takeoff runway one two Barley zero one. Nine or two. I just heard that. Nine or two cleared for. Take off. Lights on. Let's go. We're cleared. I don't know whatever happened to that American. I don't know if it landed already or what. Not in that big a hurry. Okay, remember we have that left crosswind. Is that what he said too? 032? Wow. Okay. Yep, that is a left crosswind. All right. Check. Bleed valves. Oh, we're. G I think we said we're going to try with them off this time. Why not, right? Off. Checklist complete. Start the takeoff checklist. Starting takeoff checklist. Landing lights. On. Runway is clear. Check. Checklist complete. Right, we are taking off. Take off power set. Check. A little left yoke here. Airspeed alive. Check. We're taking out the left yoke. 70 knots cross check. Check. One, 
rotate. Starting climb checklist. Positive Air rate. Time. Gear up. Trim for V2 plus 5. Yes, ma'am. Acceleration altitude. Speed 109. Good day. Don't sink. Going to 123 decimal 5 Barley 01. Cancun departure Barley 01 is passing 600 feet, Setting climbing 5,000 feet. Setting flaps 0. Barley 01 Cancun departure altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2 continue as planned. Setting autopilot. Okay. Autopilot has the bird. Decent takeoff. The initial climb was... Could be better. Alright. Repeat. Trim for V2 plus 5. Check. Yaw damper. On. Lead valves. Those back on. On. Pito heat. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need that. On. Checklist complete. Okay, yeah. us. Last leg of the trip. And pretty much a moonless night, so nothing to see. temp is good. So even having the bleeds off for just a little bit didn't really cause any problems. Smooth takeoff, even with that crosswind. Starting takeoff checklist. No. Landing lights. <laughs> I don't need that, thank you. So I do want to kind of look into climb numbers and see if those are an issue. Okay, so I'm going to pause after this. So I'm going to set it for 15,000. We're at 5,000 feet now. We're almost. Let's get it set. There we go. Okay, so it's starting to climb, and we want to go right about there. And, uh, check. But we're... We are light. And this is a... Uh, it's a 12-ton list, I believe. 5,000. Uh, oh, I didn't... Uh, we can use the overlay. Uh, what is our... True air temperature? 23. So that's this row. Right here. 5,000 here. Uh, AC is on. So actually, yeah, AC is on. So it's this line. And so about 82 and a half. 
83. But 83 is the torque number we expect at this altitude. With this setup. Survey says... 84, okay. We'll check again at 7500. And it is climbing good, I mean... Oh, it's because we just restarted to climb IIS, so... Yeah, there, the torque numbers are coming back. 83. Okay. So, at the moment, I'll say that it is on track. We will go all the way up to... What's the highest one? We'll... Okay, okay, we're done with that list. So the highest one we'll be able to do is 17.5. Because we're not going to 20,000 on this trip. Now we're only going to 15. Get ready for 7,500. And it's pressure altitude. So I guess what I could do is pull out the trusty CX-3 and make sure I... What was it? We're set at 29.92. Really? Is, um, that is... Pre then pressure altitude is the exact same as indicated. I don't need to look. I don't need to. I don't need to do any calculation. Standard pressure is our pressure. So at seventy five hundred, we pause. Take another reading. Let's see if it stays true as it climbs. Or 75. I know it doesn't look like it on your overlay. I don't know what they use for altitude. Oh, no, it's, it is correct. 7501. I think it normally uses pressure altitude, but since 29, we're at standard pressure, uh, it's the same. So I missed by one foot. Oh, my God, that's going to throw the chart all the way off. 7500. Uh, true air temperature now is 18 degrees. 7500. 18 degrees is in between these two. So 78 and a half. I'm trying to be overly correct. 78 and a half. And we actually got a little better torque than that. But it's coming down. See? So, okay. 7,500 is on. What about... What's next? 10? Yeah, 10. Ooh. Rocky zero 01, contact Marina Center on 125 decimal 2. Good day. Isn't this fun? One two five decimal two barley zero one. If you enjoy this kind of number necking, uh, geek flying, whatever you want to call it, give me a like. Tell me in the comments. Making sure we're in the notch since we're comparing numbers that are. Completely, you know, computer controlled settings. I'm in good. Engines are nominal. Starting to see a little bit of a cabin climb. Temp is good. Okay, we're getting close to 10 here. It would have been impossible to do that on the uh, Cancun to Cozumel. I mean, you saw how fast that flight went. And to have to deal with that and whatever the autopilot did on the approach, I don't know. It's doing its own thing. All I remember is that it forgot to register the last waypoint. And I'll, have to, I'll go have to watch the video to see what, why. And... Yep. I agree, 10,000. So let's get our numbers and check it against the sheet, shall we? 
Alrighty. Um, tree air temperature's 15. 10,000? 15. So in between these two. Right? Air conditioning, yep. Uh, closer to this one. So we'll call it 72. 74. We'll call it 74. Okay. Getting a little better torque than... Okay. So on the 12 ton page, because we're light, um, it the, it does seem to go well. I'll have to do a... When I have a fully loaded flight, I'll have to check the numbers then, too. Let me just see... No. I need to map a button to sinking the heading. But right now, I'm pleased that they are getting it right. At least for this loadout. Twelve ton payload. And uh, payload does affect torque a little bit. Because the heavier you are, the slower you're going to be, and that means less ram air into the turbine. Making it slightly less efficient. Still climbing pretty decent. No complaints. Uh, ten, oh, we went past 10,000. I forgot because we are doing the other things. Uh, we can turn off... Yeah, okay. I already turned off landing lights. Now we can let the... Let the horde... Play with their stuff and move about the cabins. Start the line at the bathroom. The flight's going very well. Nice two-leg fight. Simulated turnover. Everything seems to be working as expected. And that was with a cross run, a cr uh, crosswind landing and takeoff. Uh, landing could have been better, but it wasn't terrible. I'm not sure how accurate that handling is as far as I landed level and to have it want to shoot off the, to, to the left like it wanted to. I mean, I had a pretty much full right rudder by the time it got to the with brakes and right brakes. And I had the yoke oh, pretty hard over to the left. I mean, there wasn't a whole lot more I could have done with that. I'll have to practice it. When I have time one day to just sit there and do touch and goes in a crosswind environment. Because you can always get better. That just needs like a poster with clouds behind it. You can always get better. We'll see how it looks at 15. When we get to cruise, we'll brief the arrival. Oh, we're stopping at 15, so I won't be able to do the check at 15. And, right? Yeah, they gave us 15, so we won't be able to do that check. But judging by the... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we aren't going to be able to... We'll, so we'll be able to do the 17.5. No, I won't, because... Oh, yeah, we're stopping at 19, so we should be able to do 17.5. Because it shouldn't start slowing down until 18. 
he's uh, about to tell us we can go to 19. Home. We're almost home. This has been quite the adventure. Six takeoffs, six landings. One, two, three, four, five, six airports, right? Well, one, two, three, four airports. Two of them twice. Flight level 190 Barley 01. And we're cleared to 190, so let's. We're already at pressure altitude, so I don't even have to do that. Lucky us. It's just a standard pressure kind of day. But now let's watch for 17.5. Oh, wait. Here. Get our last reading for this test. And I will say that climb with a 12 ton payload matches. And our payload's a little under 12, if I remember right. Uh, where would I go to look at that? Oh, my route sheet. Yeah, a lot under. That's why we were getting better climb performance than the FCOM. Oh, I guess. Another place we could have gotten it. It's from the horse's mouth. Yeah, see, 7,400. That's... Okay, and that and that and the sheets, the uh, torque tables only go down to twelve tons. So, but no, that's only go up to twenty three. Uh, oh, and that's metric tons. That's why. Oh, I, that's not going to be true. Uh, and I, that's a conversion I'm not going to do in my head. Let's do uh, seventy three ninety five down to. Our total thirty-nine three eighty-nine. We were actually at eighteen tons, so yeah. Hmm. Let's see how different that sheet is. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Okay. Metric stuff. So, let me get this out of the way. Find the right sheet for 18 tons. Oh, that's... Oh, they don't do... I was thinking... Oh, that's the climb checklists that are done by tonnage. The climb torque is just done by velocity, and we were... At, well, I was on the right sheet for 170. Okay, so that was the right sheet. The weight doesn't matter. For the, for the for the climb. Or no, that's, that's again, I'm at maximum cruise. I want the other one, 881. Torque, torque table, yeah. 170. We may have to redo that experiment. I had the wrong sheet up. Oh, they don't have one for climb. I'm struggling to find it. Yeah, I was looking at, um, that was a cruise torque table. Did not. Cruise. And 
Okay, so yeah, that that that's invalidated. I mean, we can do another cruise check since we're about to be at cruise, but interesting. I pulled the wrong sheet. Yeah, I'm not in one for climb. I okay. Well, you can just ignore all that crud. Here, we're in the climb section of the procedures. When did normal... That's just feelings. Climb. 170 knots. Okay. Found it. But it doesn't gig as start of... Uh, climb distance, fuel used, and mean... Yeah, it doesn't... There's no... It's not a torque table. Landing lights. Uh, off. I don't know which checklist you're on. We're not ready for one right now. We're going to be ready for cruise once we hit our cruise speed, but we're not there yet. We're off. What are you doing? Repeat? Are you ignoring me? Repeat? What checklist is she on and what is she doing? 180. Days of flight. Next checklist will be cruise, so she can chill for a bit. While I try to find the right climb two engines. 170 knots. This doesn't Yeah, it's not it's not a torque table. Okay. Yeah, so that, uh, that experiment was a waste of time. Well, not really. It would have taken just as long to climb with or without it, but... It was not valid. Although it was climbing good. Um, I don't Runway see... Is clear. What are you doing? We're way past that. I think she's, like, backing up through the checklist. Hold on. Wait for cruise... I haven't quite got to our cruise altitude yet. And then we'll look for cruise speed. I'm still looking through charts. There's climb charts, but it's just about how long it should take. Yeah, and then it's into the cruise section. And we are at... How many tons did I say? 18... I'll pull that chart. I'll bring it back over for you. So this is the 18 ton chart, cruise, two engines, and we'll see once we get to, it'll be on this line and Delta ISA I'll have to check once. Uh, we're at negative four, 20, uh, should be Minus 22, I think. Or it's minus 24 at 20,000, so we'll call it. But now we have a chart we can use, but this is for cruise performance. And we'll see how it does. We were loaded, I'd say, 90% MTO when I did the cruise, the cruise port checks last time. Now we're light. Extremely light. Yeah, we're maybe sixty percent MTO. Seventy. So much lighter than last time. Hey, speed's coming up. When the yellow arrow disappears, that's when we'll call cruise and we'll flip that over. And we'll let it 
Oh, there went the yellow arrow. That's all she wrote. Okay. Start the cruise checklist. Starting the cruise checklist. Power management knob. Cruise. Cabin pressure and temp. Check. Arrival briefing. Yeah, okay. Stop listening. Stopping responding to voice commands. Launch Hilly 2458 flight level 250. Launch Hilly 2458 Merida Center. Continue to test as planned. All right, the arrival. Uh, we'll let the cruise speeds kind of average out, pork everything, whatever. Give it a few minutes while I share with you the Navigraph chart load stutter. So we can do the so we can do the uh, arrival briefing together. So we're going to be coming in, Mambi. One, two, three, decimal and looks nine, like zero, one. at fifteen hundred. Central America Center, Barley zero one flight level. Then it's a DME arc. Barley zero one Central America Center, continue to Aluba. This hold is at fifteen hundred, so all of this is at fifteen hundred, and then start the approach. Simple arrival, yeah. Mambi in. Turn right at D288Q. And if the FMS fails, we'll be doing a DME arc off of Grand Cayman, 115.6. At 15, yeah. D15 arc. Twist turn, or uh, twist 10, turn 10. Yay. And then, uh... 260 radial in to the runway, and it's runway 8. Okay. We'll take a look at the approach. I'm not going to fully brief it. But... We're coming off of Mambi. 1500. No procedure turn. Makes sense. So we go into Mobix. Then just line up on uh, the radio. 260 radio. It's an RNAV approach, so we won't... You know, I'll have that as backup, but... Okay. Simple approach. Uh, 1500 all the way to Sasser. So Mobix will begin configuring. Be configured by Sasser. Three degree glide slope. Uh, let's see. Go around is straight ahead. Climb to 1500. Right turn to Mobix. Right turn back to Mobix. Okay. Which is an at an altitude of 1500. So if we go back to Mobix, we can do a parallel. Or no. We'll do a teardrop. That way we get out of the way of traffic. Teardrop. And then just turn around and try again. If they don't... Unless they give us other instructions. But that's the go around. Re read the written. Straight ahead. Climb to 1500. Turn right. Direct to Mobix and hold. Yep. Okay. Got it. Minimums. Are 610 feet. So we'll set those since we're here. We're back on the arrival. 610, so 660. Oh, boy. Really can't even see that knob down there, can you? Uh, 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 let's... Now can we? Not really. It's down there somewhere, I promise. MDA 660. 610 for the minimum and 50 for safety. Meaning, give me time to react to. Not so we don't bust minimums. Uh, and we need to make sure hers matches. And there's somewhere. Flashlight. There. MDA 660. Confirmed. Now, even with the 
overheads. All right, both the arrival and approach are briefed. We'll do a revi uh, we'll review the approach when we get closer. All right, repeat, repeat. Oh, and I already turned her off. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's wrong. That sounds wrong, doesn't it? It does. All right, so we can kind of. There is only thing about these night flights over the ocean. There is nothing to look at. Less than nothing. It's a big black void. This thing is your life. And uh, Roberts Airport is not a big airport. So you totally got to watch out for that. As we're coming in, a big dark ocean with no moon and getting disoriented. There's a name for that. Dark hole, the dark canyon, something. There's a there's a pilot's name for that. When you have like a, a huge area of no lights, it can be like a forested area coming up to a runway or ocean, and um, you don't have any perspective. And I forget what I forget what it's called. I've heard the term a few times. Well, since I totally screwed the other one up, we can look at crews though. Uh, we're in here. Uh, what is our... Negative four, so we are minus... Or plus 20, ISA. But we're over here. And we should be between... Looks like we should be right around 60, 61-ish. Yeah. So cruise is still not great. It's, it's, a, it's still off. So the cruise test we did before has been confirmed even with a lighter airplane. Now we're not empty. And I wonder if those numbers might be for the 42 and they just transposed them. Because I know this is wrong. So there's three different MTOs for this plane. So here it's 50, 660, right? Um, that's not what that says. And then, uh, out in the real world, there's a third number. And that's the number that I have in on-air. Uh, world aircraft. I could look at the work orders. And we can look at some factory stuff. Yay! Hopefully... It bugged out when I tried to show it to y'all last time, but it's a, it's a beta, that part of it. I mean, on air isn't a beta, but that's in beta. We're, f we're flying now. Um, any ATR will be fine. I don't want to touch mine because that's yellow. Any ATR, there we go. Here's one. And here, uh, that's a totally different number. That's not that's not MTO though. That's total pay. That's. There's no empty. You'd have to add the empty weight to this. So, yeah, it's not there. I'd have to get, get it from um, World. Or maybe aircraft details. That's that's a way to do it. I know I've looked it up. I just don't remember. Because I was doing the comparison. I'm like, I got three different MTOs to deal with. Um, we do now. <laughs> Go resolve that issue. Uh, so, I just need details on any ATR. I've configured them all exactly the same. Uh, here. There it is. So, oh, well, this one matches. 51081. Okay, so that one matches. So that's changed. That, that one matches. This one. But neither of those match. That one. And you'd think the EFB would at least match the weight and balance for the plane. You'd think. Uh, 
Fix one or the other. I, I don't. I don't care which one. All right. So now we can go play with what I was talking about. Let's see if it works this time. Industries, yay! So that broken king air. <laughs> because I sent him out to pick up some steel bars so I could finish building this next hunting camp. This one, because it's, our lumber, I mean. I sent him out to pick up some lumber. And um, I sent him someplace that didn't have fuel, but I, I tankered him. I set him up with enough fuel to get there and back. But I forgot to tell it, don't fill when return, you know, from return. And so he's trying and he shouldn't. But yeah, so what I'm going to do here is set up mainly hunting camps and then maybe fill it in with some meat processing or pelt processing. I'm just starting to run the numbers on that. Uh, let me see if I can find that spreadsheet. You guys like spreadsheets. Oh, I got some information. I, I do have um, news on spreadsheets too. I know you guys want my load spreadsheet, this thing. See how much cleaner it is? It took me a while. I cleaned it up. I put some instructions on how to use it. And it's got all the numbers behind it so that, you know, if you're in the whatever, you know, 208 and you decide, oh, I'm going to try to carry 10,000 pounds. Uh, it's going to tell you, nope. Or even if you do carry what it can carry, you say, I'm going to go, you know, 10,000 miles, it's going to tell you, nope. So it's, they're all coded that way. And uh, that's it. So uh, I, now I see figure out where I want to host it and how I want to host, you know, where I want to put it, that kind of thing. And... Uh, so this will go out, and then I'm also just starting this, trying to figure out my ratio to hunting camps, to smokers, to tanneries, and where I want to put those things. Because my thoughts, at least, um, are that I want to do most of my hunting out in the most productive camp. I don't want to do it near the airport, right? So then I've got this other factory. Turn down the airplane a little bit. Um, my... And I've got like a production center that's going to process these things at the airport. So then when they introduce the next link in the chain, I imagine we'll be able to turn the leather and the fur into coats. I don't know if there's going to be another link in the chain for the meat, for the smoked meat, but whatever. Um, then this stuff is already at the airport and I can have a regular run, pick it up and take it to another airport that has the next factory. So the only thing that really needs those base camps is the hunters the 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 biggest thing though is each one of these for pelts needs three pelts per and they only make one per hunting camp where they make five meat and this only needs two so you end up where you're gonna put a lot of raw meat because i'm gonna do three of these well three of these needs nine hunting camps uh or may i'm only i may only do two of these that's what i'm working out in the spreadsheet let's say i do two of these well still uh, that's six. So I need six hunting camps just to do that. Well, that's going to give me 30 meat a day. I'm not, I have, I'm not going to do 15 of these. So I'm going to put some of these things over at the hunting camp. Um, and I'm gonna have two hunting camps. I don't know if that shows up well on this. Yeah. Rat five, rat two. So, and just trying to figure out the ratios to get the best, most efficient processing of smoked meat and uh, uh, fur and leather. So I've got, I'm working on it. It's not there yet. Um, but anyway, I thought you'd also, uh, you guys would probably care more about that. You've a lot of you have asked me about this load sheet. Um, now I got to do, now that I've cleaned it up and I've made it to where it's single page, because before it used like information on three different sheets, um, now it's been condensed. And all you have to do is make sure that if on air changes any of these values, which occasionally they will. You just come in here and change these. Um, don't mess with the green ones. They're calculated. I mean, you can mess with them if you want to, but then my, you're on your own for the sheet. The sheet works as is. Oh, and cruise speed. A any of these things, this changes, this changes, and these three, uh, you're going to need to uh, maintain it. And I, I do put that in here somewhere. Yeah. So that'll be up soon. Dot .tm that back up where it goes out of the way so that's my approach to the factories is I'm going to do my um, I don't know if it's e easy to see what view that would be easy to see from 
show what I mean by the... If you haven't been in on air in a while. Uh, okay, so here are my base camps. I don't know if I'm going to keep that one, but I'm going to put... So I've got right now, this is my big camp over here. Brat 5. That's the one where you saw all those hunting camps. That's this one. And it's running and it's producing meat and it's producing pelts. At Tampico, right here, is where I have the other factory that, pr that takes the meat and the pelts and turns it into finished product. And then from there, whenever there's another link in the chain. Now I'm going to do a second hunting camp here to produce more pelts and more meat. I think. I'm running that through the, the spreadsheet. I'm probably going to delete this one. I just don't have a use for it. But that's my current thinking on the factories. Now you've seen it. The big things with the factories is don't... It's it's not like a strategy builder where things happen very quick because it doesn't. Um, and I guess I could show you that. Um, any, any building takes 24 hours or more. So I first started, I built, I, well, there's a video on all the base camps I laid down. I laid down five base camps to see which one would produce best. This one won. So uh, I decided to use this one for all my hunting camps. So each one of these, once you get all the materials here, and you got to use the, the trading hall to buy them, and then a plane to go pick them up, and then you got to bring two builders, ten lumber, and two steel, and then tell it to build, and it takes 40 industry points. You start out with enough to do it. And you can see I've got enough to build this. I'm just waiting for the lumber to get here, and that's the king here that's stuck. Um, and each one of these produces these industry points. You start out with enough to do one hunting camp, and then you have to wait for it, and here's how many points they produce. Um, three. <laughs> Until you have enough to do another hunting camp, or if you want to do... Like, the, t the meat smoker is 30 points, and the tannery is 90 points. So that's why I'm building a lot of these, because one, I'll get more points, and two, it takes a lot of pelts for the tannery. But yeah, you click on build, and you wait an entire day before it's built. Then you only get three points a day. After you get three hunters here, you supply them with hunting gear and rations. And they use one hunting gear and one ration per day per hunter. So right now I'm chewing up six rations and six hunting gear a day. And I have two of these because I'm going to build at least six camps, I think. Um, and these can only supply three camps each. So you have to route them, so like here, uh, circle side. So if I decide I didn't want it to come from that one, I wanted it to come from this one. That's how you, that's how you change it. And you can move them. You just kind of click there and then decide where you want it. And it'll tell you if you try to put it someplace you can't. So you can't put them, like, right next to each other. There has to be a space in between. And then storage containers, if it's on the left side in this light area, then it's an input container, and you have to have fly in whatever this is, and then you can send it wherever you want. If it's on, if you put a container in the dark area, it's you can use it as inter, intermediary transport, storage, whatever you want to call it. So, like, let's say if I wanted to bring all the pelts into one storage container over here. I could do a second one here, have this one come here, and then have them both go into anything on the right side, which is output. This one I'm having trucked to Tampico. The pelts I'm just holding because I don't have any place to process them yet. Now, I could have... I can put this over here and then just set it to storage and don't fly a plane in to pick it up, but this makes sure they don't accidentally get picked up. Uh, that's pretty much it. And then, you know, to build... Once you can either build a factory, one of these whole things, not individual things, a factory, at a base camp or an airport. So, if we go back to the dashboard, to build this one, you know, I, this is what I typed in, it'll tell me that I already have one there, and then you just type in create new factory, and it'll tell me that you already have one there. Yeah. And you only get three. So my next one's gonna be at BART02. So I could just type that in. I'm not really going to build it now. Oh. Oh, no, you have to do that from the... Oh, you do that. That's right. You do that from the... Uh, so it's different. For airports, that's how you do it here. For the other ones, you have to go to the world screen. Go to that. Uh, so let's see. Airports. I do need to check on the flight here for a second, Bart. Go to. Oh, it's not Bart. It's Brat. 
Maybe it would have worked for the other, the other screen. Yeah. Okay, let's try that. I, I typed it in wrong. Yeah. It's not Little Simpson. That's what it was. Yeah. So that would have worked. And Pico Camp number two, and you just create new factory. I'm not ready to do that yet. And you manage everything through contracts, trading hall. Here's a trading hall. And basically, you just tell it whether you're looking to buy or sell and what. So let's say, like, I picked up lumber. And I would tell if I'm trying to buy it, that I look for a supplier. And then I'm down here in Mexico. And you can see that the closest supplier are all up here. And there's where the king is stuck. <laughs> now he's picking it up and going to bring it back. If I was selling, like, the meat, uh, we go to raw meat. If you're, if, like, right now I'm selling the raw meat. I actually have a contract for it somewhere. Uh, and you look for demand. The closest demand is way over there. I think I'm selling it at MXNF. So then if you want to know what you already got, then you can go to your contracts. And you can see I've completed all these other ones. Um, this contract is over here. Yeah, MXNF. So I've delivered 40 out of 120. So before I start making beef jerky, I need to finish this contract. I've got three days... Um, we'll get there. I got a bunch sitting and then you want to know how much stuff you got hanging around? Um, you can't do it from this one, can you? My goods inventory. I don't know why it keeps going over there. There. And this shows you, ooh, everything you got hanging around. So I got 10 meat here, 10 meat here. We're going to produce another 10 today, then 15 for two more days. That'll be just enough to finish that contract. And you can see there's a, that's a builder, I think. Oh, these are the builders. That's a regular worker. Those are hunters. More hunting gear, steel, lumber. Okay. And that's basically how all that works. Now, let me go rescue my king here. I'm sure I know what I did is I forgot to tell it don't fill up at the departure airport because they don't have an FBO. So I know I gave it enough fuel. Not that bad at math. Yeah. Don't load. And I'm just not going to put a number in there. He's got enough fuel on board. I don't want it to empty, though. What it is. Uh, whatever. 250 and just don't load. Don't. There we go. Off you go. All good. And this is the Cessna that's waiting for that stuff so it can take that out to the the base camp with some other materials. So it kind of gives you some more things to mess with. If you need it. And since we're here, I guess if you want an update on Barley's Regional Air Transportation. Brat. Brat Air. Uh, we're level 22. Uh, we almost have 100 employees. Um, reputation, really, really close to 100%. Closing in on it. Got a little more training to do. But we're a reliable, beloved airline. I don't know what else you guys want to look at. We might do a work order. I'll see if, how much time we got left. Let's go to the... Ooh, that's not very, very well lit, is it? Yeah, that's a little light on the subject. That's better. Uh, 4.51. We got about... Hmm, 45 minutes, so we're... Mambi's already right there. This is with zero warping. This flight went fast. And Mambi at 4.43. Okay. 35 minutes. I could probably get one work order done in that time. What do you think? What do you think? I know that's what you want. No, I... Thanks. Just... There's our top of descent right there.
37 minutes. It's a challenge. A little less because top, top of the sense there. Okay. But we don't really have anything else that needs to happen inside the cockpit. So if I'm going to do that, let's go here. Maybe FBO queries. And once this comes up. There we go. You can look at the live operations map. Uh, let's see. We only care about our idle aircraft. Well, first, I guess we could show everything and kind of see what's running around. Don't need airports. There's all my crew and airplanes that are all flying around doing stuff. The C-130s have two routes, this one and this one. Uh, and then the ATRs run around in the Caribbean and uh, acro across the Gulf this way and across the Gulf this way. So it looks like those two are either landed or have finished their routes. We got one running around here. Some very sleepy people. Hopefully they aren't flying aircraft. All right, uh, but we only care about idle, uh, multi-engine, and do it by passenger capacities descending. Pop it out. Another window you go. All right. Uh, C-130, MMCZ, that's us. Or no, that's, uh, that's, he's got, a, he's on a plan, he just landed or something. NQX, okay, that one needs to be, these are two AT, uh, these are the two cross golf ATRs, and they're, they're waiting orders. Uh, get the big board up first. Alright, it has 25 hours for 100. Uh, no issues on the engines. Quarters, and we'll do this one from that perspective. Create. If we have pilots left, been doing a busy day of flying, right? That's where you're going. This is how much you need. Just a little fuel for you. And do we have any? What do? Uh, Lida and Oliver you can take. Brooke and Ebony. And then uh, we don't have... This is all the... All this, this is all the factory stuff. See how it doesn't have a departure or a destination? That's how you know it's factory stuff. And it never expires. Um, that means we need something. Oh, I guess I could show you all this. So I've changed how I'm doing my queries to make life easier, especially on these out and back trips is now my queries are either all passengers or all cargo. I was mixing them before and while that gives you more queries it's a lot more finagling to get full loads. So now I just pick passengers until I'm full then I can figure out how much cargo I want to add. Because you make more money with passengers. Whereas when, do, when I was doing it the other way there's a chance that I had too much cargo and I couldn't get as many passengers on. So now you'll know that's what I'm doing. So first I want to find a full load of passengers. So we're almost full anyway. 78. That'll work. Sure, time is good. There we go. So we'll take all three of those. Now we have 78 passengers and 27,000 pounds remaining for cargo. And I'll add the leg, the return leg. Because these are these are designed as out and back trips. So everybody gets home every night. Tell them to go to sleep when they get back. That's nine, nine you know, ten hours. That's a day. Uh, let's see, we don't want to reload cargo that's already been loaded. So we want these three. And there's nothing else to load. 27,000 pounds. So we need about 50,000 pounds to finish out this load. 25,000 pounds each way. So go over to the load sheet looking for something around-ish 50,000 pounds that does not require a human fly, meaning me. 547. That's the best I can get. That appears to be the one to take. Alright, so now we refresh. 
and should be some cargo that it won't quite fill us up, but it, it's. There we go. Two thousand pounds remaining on a C-130. That's fine. Do the same thing here. Here we go. C-130 round trip, fully loaded, mostly passengers. Good money. Uh, make sure they're sleeping when they get home. Yep. Bye. How are we doing on time here? Gonna be tight. I don't know if I want to mess with another one. That's 20 minutes. That only took, what, five, six minutes for the last one? Well, let's try one more. This next one's gonna be an ATR. Uh, let's do this one. Okay, 100 hours. Good. Uh, engines, no issues. Little work order. American 770 Heavy Contact Havana Center on 135 Decimal 1. Good day. And that's where he goes. And we need pilots for this. Uh, can we Ua and Lisa. Picking Clara. Barley zero one contact uh, Central America Center. Uh, we might not get to finish this one. But we don't have any payloads for KCP, so we need to go get some. One two four decimal tree for Barley zero one. But I did so this is an out and back route. So it's the same thing. Barley zero one Central America Center. Continue to Mambi as planned. Yeah, we're working on it. So now I want to make sure that I get my passengers first. And these hold sixty-two. It's Forty-one. Uh, bigger loads. 50, I guess that's good. So we'll have to take that. Frontier Flight 215 traffic is 9 o'clock per miles at flight level 320 Airbus. Oh, this is the wrong plane. I didn't want the KNQX one. Okay, well, we can, uh. Blue Tree D traffic is 8 o'clock per miles at flight level 350 Airbus. Report them in sight. Okay. I can do this one. Uh, that goes to San Antonio. Wasn't looking. There. So now let's pull a load for that one. Oh, well, good. The other ATR is all set. It's got a load waiting for it. Uh, let's see. So what do we got here? Seven. That is 61 passengers. That's as good as that gets. And we don't want to re accidentally reload cargo. 61 passengers. Okay, and we have 4,700 pounds loaded. Let's just make sure there's not something sitting at San Antonio that needs to come back. Sleep. And it's the same one because I have them automatically create the round trip. Uh, so you get the same cargo on the other side, and it looks like we have, so let's call it 8,000-ish, eight to 9,000 pounds, what I need. Now I'm going to go through here and see what we can get. Hmm. 48, 52, 82. Let me take these two. We'll see if my math is any good. Sometimes it's dead on, and sometimes it's barley-ish. Ugh. By 131 pounds. That's alright. We can pick it up on the... There'll be somebody by another eight hours. <laughs> uh-huh. I missed by 131 pounds. Alright. Well, let's take the one that has the most time on it. Knock 200 pounds off of it. There we go. 
I'll have to do the same thing here, probably. Oh no, on this side, it's fine. I had 400 pounds remaining. Okay. So, not a problem. Okay, everybody set to sleep when they get home. Done. And that's as many work orders as we're going to get done here. Uh, I've just got... What? MMTM... MMC. Just got one more ATR to do a work order for. If it had just been a slightly longer cruise, I would have gotten them all done. But we need to get the get everybody ready for descent. Here we go. Work orders everywhere. Yeah, and that King Air is coming back, right? Yep. Good. And the Cessna will take off. Finish that. All right. Let's go back to our flight tracking. Here we go. Yeah, I don't think 10 minutes, less than 10, because top of descent's like in here somewhere. Like seven minutes, I'm not going to chance it. Descent and approach are, things get busy. But I do have just enough time to grab a Maybe. Yes. Let's see. Um, great price, but I need to. Up to um, what's the model number? JetBlue Tree Eight Contact Data Center on one three five decimal right. one LF. Good day. Okay. All right. Okay. Going to one three five decimal one JetBlue Tree right. Eight. Uh, did anything happen? And we have... Okay, I think I have enough time. I'll go grab a fresh, cold, ice-cold Diet Coke for the descent and approach. I deserve it. And darn it, people like me. Very quick jaunt to the kitchen. Rebrief the approach. The arrival is not a big deal. I mean, literally. Let's make sure that's what it looks like on the FMS, though, right? Yeah, there it is. So through Mambi D288Q, right there. 
make a right turn, then line up on the radial and go in. So the FMS has it correct. So I shouldn't have to manually do it. I've had a couple of these where the FMS is completely wrong on the approach and I had to fly them manually. But on this one, it looks like it has it. Yeah. And D2600. Yep. Yeah. So it has that beautifully. And then our approach. Uh, we've set our minimums, right? 610 set for 660 MDA. Yep. It's 1500 is where we're going to... Boy, that's going to be one hell of a descent. Uh, along, we're going to configure it. Mobix, be configured by Sasser, 3-degree glide, which we'll manage with vertical speed. And at about 120... Six hundred thirty-seven. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Um, I zero one descend and maintain nine thousand feet. Nine thousand feet, rudder. Descend and maintain nine thousand feet, Harley zero one. Begin the descent checklist. Okay, oh, start listening. Hello, are you there? Start listening. Repeat. Did you die? Resuming responding to voice commands. Okay. Well, let's get set up for the... Preparing for arrival and landing. Start the descent checklist. Starting the descent checklist. No devices and fasten seal belt signs. On. I have advised the cabin crew that we are about to descend. Great. Review landing elevation. Eight feet. Okay, we'll call it sea level. Done. Check. Check. Brief the approach. Complete. Check. Minimums. Set. Pito heat. Mm, I think we still need it right now, don't we? Oh, well, just barely. But wait. On. Power management not. Take off. Checklist complete. Settle in for getting home, finally. Been a long, strange trip. Many happenings.
Where's it going? What are you doing? There you go. I was a little nervous after what happened uh, going into uh, Cozumel. Where I just decided not to fly the next leg. I don't want that again. I'm trying to do other things. How close are we to 9,000? We're getting there. I think that's us over there. There's Grand Cayman, just way off in the distance. One more landing, and this trip is over. And we will be going full cold and dark at the end of this one. That's what I wanted. Really. Keep our speed up for right now. Yeah, we configure here. Barley zero one descent and maintain one thousand five hundred feet. Okay. Descend and maintain 1,500 feet, Barley 01. Barley 01, contact Cayman approach on 120 decimal 2. Good day. Going to 120 decimal 2, Barley 01. Cayman approach, Barley 01, is at 8,600 feet, descending 1,500 feet. Barley 01, Cayman, approach altimeter 29er, decimal 84, continue yep. to D288Q as planned. 2984 set. We start configuring here, be configured by there. That's Sasser. That's Mobix. But we'll start slowing up here.
Uh, I like our speed. I like where we're at. Yep, I think this overlay up here has definitely won the contest. So it will be officially mentioned in the details of this video. And if you don't like it, please put something in the comments to tell me what about it you don't like because it is somewhat customizable. Unlike the Volanta one. Sim Toolkit Pro has a customizable one, but it's not ready for prime time. It's in beta and not ready. And then their regular one is just a bunch of blocks and um, not what I'm looking for. I will say that Fly Studios got it on the customization. They nailed that. It's just the connection issues having to reconnect it, you know, at some point later in the flight. Not what, also not what I'm looking for. Okay, it's making the turn. It's good. This is where we want to kind of start slowing. And we're at flight idle. Noted by the, I don't know if that's supposed to be orange, but the brownish <laughs> annunciator. So we're already on the approach. So let's move to that Tower plate. On one one eight decimal zero barley zero one. Owen Roberts Tower barley. So we just zero need to be at fifteen hundred. West inbound RNF runway zero eight approach. So we need to slow down more. Setting flaps fifteen. There we go. Cleared RNF runway zero eight approach. Cleared Arnav runway 08, approach Barley 01. I can see the runway, but. Be there. We hold fifteen hundred till Sasser. Have a little bit of a left crosswind here. Four knots, not a big deal, I don't think. But it wouldn't be one of my landings if. Speed 160. Landing gear. American 351 contact. Going down. Three greens and flaps 15. Check. Setting flaps 30. Start the approach checklist. Starting the approach checklist. Landing and taxi lights. On. Cabin pressure. Check. Fuel balance.
Check. The cabin is configured for landing. Check. Checklist complete. Start the before landing checklist. Starting the before landing checklist. Landing gear. Down. Flaps. 30. Power management knob. Take off. TLU low speed illuminated. Clear to land runway zero Check. eight. Check. Cabin pressure. Check. Clear checklist to land complete. runway zero eight Barley zero one. Pilot off. Wing zero two zero at nine knots. Minimum. Minimum. Continuing. Left crosswind, left crosswind, left crosswind. Gotta keep saying it. Speed good. We are landing. That was my last taxiway. No, there's one up to the left. We did stop at a, at a, at a good distance. Not too bad. Oh, I, yeah, I forgot to tell you that uh, I had figured out the reversers, obviously. I still have to get used to the mechanics of how to do it. What it comes down to is... Was that it? I don't wear the blue lights. Do I have the right... Is that the right airport? Yes. Yeah, that was... Okay, well, there's one way at the end. Wow, that wasn't lit at all. Fine. This is our small little airport, our home airport, which I haven't flown into very much, you can tell. And apparently, we can't afford to keep the taxiway lights on. Paint yellow lines on the runway. Barley zero one, turn next taxiway. Yeah, I'm gonna. As long as I can see it. Where is it? They're invisible. 
What the heck? Oh, it's at the very end. I'm at the very end. Ah, the holy cow. Yeah, let's not put any lighting on our taxiways. Let's not do that. Or a yellow line or anything. Yeah, I'm working on it. Jeez. Where the... That's the end of the runway. Um... Hello? Wow. Okay, note to self when landing here at night. Starting after landing checklist. Zero one contact Flaps zero. zero. Check. Trims reset. Going to one one eight decimal zero barley zero one. Wait. This is turnaround. <laughs> okay, give me a minute. Where is that? I don't see it. Do you guys see it? There's no pavement there. I think this is an instance where this airport does not look like the uh, diagram. Because we're at the right airport. <laughs> yeah, see, there's no, there's no pavement there. There's no nothing there. All right, fine. Yeah. You're full of... full of Corolla. What the... Well, that wasn't very nice of them, was it? Yeah, I don't know... Well, since we operate out of here... <laughs> I may have to figure out how to mod airports. <laughs> Put yellow lines for the taxiways and some blue lights for Pete's sake. I went right by Foxtrot and didn't see it. Make sure we have all our lights on in case somebody... It's not that busy in airports, so I'm not worried, but... We do want to get home. There it is. Okay. Wow. Yeah, we, we should light these things. Alright, get here. Our taxi clearance. Anyway, repeat. Trims reset. Check. Dust lock. On. Landing and strobe lights. Off. Start engine timer. Yeah, we don't need that now. We spent enough time, but fine. It's procedure. Okay, check. Radar. Uh, standby. Off. Transponder. Off. Pito heat. Hmm, that's a good call. Off. Taxi clearance. No, I guess. Owen Roberts ground Barley 01 request taxi to parking. Barley 01 taxi to general aviation parking via taxiway. Taxiing to general aviation oh. parking via taxiway Barley 01. And now I gotta go back over here. Okay. No way to get there via taxiway, but... That's where you want me to go, then that's where I'll go. That's the difference between these Day in Life series and my normal on-air flights, is I taxi where they tell me. Although this... I'm gonna have to look into that airport lights mod. Because this is a very dark airport at night. come in and then they want us to go over to general aviation we go 
Black out. I can, if I can even see the taxiway to go back out. Pito heat. Off. Taxi clearance. Check. T R U. Okay. It won't let me click on it. Okay. Well, not sure what's going on there. It's stuck. <laughs> uh oh. Well, we might have to park here. Okay, well. Because I don't. We can't get there over that. Yeah, this. We need some lights here badly. Is this the taxiway even? Golly. Sure looks like it. Next, yeah, here's the runway. Put that those lights back on. And then we taxi down to the next taxiway. Because that's where they want us. Stay on the right side since the yellow lines don't extend right from the center line. And we'll go down to this next. The general aviation ad since that's where they sent us. Although they said via taxiway and that's not possible. I know you guys are absolutely thrilled that I chapter mark all my videos so you can skip the taxiing. But I can't. It's the rule I made for myself for the day in the life. Whoa, that was that it? Well, that'll sneak up on you. And it's already gone. Where was that? I saw a yellow line for half a second. And it's gone. I'm not even sure if this is the right one, but we're going this way. Where did the yellow line go? This doesn't look like a taxiway. No, it's got markings like one. Okay. Yep. So now we're back on an apron of some type. And we started out from way over there to the right. When we started at 6.30 this morning, we were over here. So now I need to look for a way to go left. Like you really can't see. Well, yeah, I need to look into that. Airport lighting mod and see if it helps this place. Because that's not going to work. Whoa. I'm going to have to cozy in between this planes and this building. Yeah. Who chose. Is there a plane on that side, really? This is silly. All right, we're parking over here. <laughs> this will be fine. Because I say so. Okay. Parking brake. Both feathered. Uh, lots of lights off. Uh, okay. Repeat. Repeat. T-R-U. Now let's see if... Well, it's off now because it doesn't have a choice, but and it's reacting. That's good. You know, use anymore. Uh, shut down number one. Get some cabin lights on for the people. Uh, let's let them get their stuff. Arm and that out. One is shut down. Yeah. Okay, uh, GPU. And number two is off. Engine off time logged. The flight is finished. It has been monitored by on air. Great. Radar off. Yes, thank you. Yes, I know. 
We were sh we shut it down on purpose. So they have a way to get off. That's all good. We can open the cargo doors, chocks, all that stuff. All right. Uh, fuel pumps. Uh, all the lights. Those are off. Those are off. Ice protection. Off. Checklist complete. Start the parking checklist. Starting parking checklist. I'm way parking ahead. Parking brake. On. Set. Taxi lights. Off. Condition levers to feather. Check. Engine timer above one minute. Check. Engine one condition lever to shut off. Check. Confirm engine one shut down. Check. Prop brake. Off. Ground power. On. Condition lever for engine two. Off. Position lights. Off. Confirm both engines NP at zero. Check. Wheel chocks in position. Check. Passenger door open. Check. Tail prop in position. Check. Emergency lighting disarmed. Check. No device and seat belt signs. Off. Cargo and service doors open. Check. Parking checks complete ready to start cold and dark list. Begin. O2 supply. Off. Wipers. Off. Ice protection. Off. Radar. Off. Prop brake. Off. Engine 2 condition lever to shut off. Check. Fuel pumps. Off. Record fuel level. I think we're good. Check. Check. CDLS unlocked. I guess if we want to get out of here tonight, that'd be a good plan. Oh. Check. External power. On. Well, I guess we need to turn it off now. We're going. We're going bye bye. Uh. Off. Battery switch. Not that. Off. Checklist complete. Yes, it is. That was a long flight. Now, the question is... Local time. We started at 6.30 this morning. We got back at 1 in the morning. So, um... Was that 24 minus 5? Minus, we'll give our... Minus 6. 18 hour day. Uh, I'll have to add up all the flight time and I'll put it at the end of the video in a graphic or something. Um, but I'm guessing we managed we managed it in under 14 hours of flight time, so no fine. Um, I don't know if we... I'm sure we didn't do it in 10 like my crews normally do. But the boss is slower than the crew. Go figure. I hadn't done a turnaround in... ever. So... <laughs> uh, cool. We're done. We've done the whole day in life. We've made it back home. Uh, we know we have a dark airport now very dark airport that I will have to remedy. Um, I appreciate you all coming along with me on this epic adventure, and um, if enough people comment and tell me that they would like to see another day in the life, I... There's another route we have that has a bunch of ATR stops, and it goes from Grand Cayman to the Bahamas with stops in Key West um, and Marathon. Uh, so if you want to see another one, I'll do another one. If you'd rather see something else, put that in the comments. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up and if you want to see more of them, hit the subscribe button and tickle the bell. It likes it. I got a very smooth. Yay. Tired. Very long day. I got a very smooth. Thanks to Mary and Isabel for a, a great trip. And Barley, out.